Welcome to your May 2021 love reading. I'm going to go ahead and just forego that long intro I usually do and just jump right in and calibrate these cards to your astrological sign and ask our angels, guides, and ancestors for any love messages for Pisces for the month of May 2021. All right. Spirit, what love messages do you have for Pisces for May 2021? Spirit, what love messages do you have for Pisces for May 2021? Spirit, what love messages do you have for Pisces for May 2021? Just a minute. I got some really loud, rude neighbors. Hold on. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, my neighbors coming in late, grocery shopping, kids running around, a lot of noise. Okay. I just didn't want to be distracted. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these a couple more times just for a uh, good measure. And I'm now I am separating into three stacks. Okay. All right, now the card on the bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. All right, now the Wheel of Fortune is telling me that things are going to be changing for you really soon. Now, whether things have been going great, uh, enjoy it, you know, but at the same time, uh, you know, just be prepared that uh, good times don't always last forever. And if things have been going kind of rough for you, this is how the Wheel of Fortune is. It's not going to be long before uh, Fortune is going to arrive and smile on you as well. Let me turn my light on here. Better? Okay. All right. Now, for those of you who are new here, I'm going to go ahead and lay out these cards. And the first row pertains to you, things you've been dealing with in the recent past, things that are uh, currently going on in your life, and the things that are um, coming towards you. Uh, this would include people, new situations, opportunities, that type of thing. The second column has to do with your twin flame, soulmate, divine counterpart, karmic partner. This could be somebody brand new in your life that you just met. Uh, you can't get off your mind. All right, the third column is about obstacles and challenges, fears and anxieties, and the things that we do to ourselves to kind of, you know, self-sabotage what it is we really want the most because of those fears. And the last column has to do with outcome. All right, now I've got two cards in each row, and I'm going to do that two more times. By the time we get to the end of the reading, we'll have 24 cards uh, that will make up your reading for this month. Now we're starting out the card, the, the, the reading with the cards of uh, the Nine of Swords and Five of Wands, and that can seem as if it's a little disparaging, maybe. Uh, you've been through a lot of things that have hurt you. <coughs> Times are not, uh, may not have been going so great for you recently. Uh, maybe your heart's broken. Maybe there's just been a lot of this little petty back and forth. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that your relationship is ended. I do feel like if you're in separation, this person is coming back. Uh, but you, you've got to let go of the little petty arguments. Uh, it's, you know, you pick your battles kind of situation. If you are constantly being picked on about every single little thing you do, and you're constantly picking about every little thing they do, it's going to cause you a lot of grief because when you do separate, it does hurt you. And you do have a lot of sleepless nights and a lot of heartache. And these things really bother you and they make you feel uh, as if you're kind of grieving over this person. So, partner's column, you have uh, the Tower and Nine of Pentacles. All right. So, they're feeling the same thing. They're feeling like everything is just falling apart. But the wonderful thing about the Tower is it gives you that opportunity to recreate. Okay. So, uh, Tower built on foundation that uh, is just not stable. It shouldn't have been. It was built wrong. 
Uh, it's causing uh, everything to be a little bit shaky. This does give you the opportunity to regrade your garden, to uh, build things back the way that they should be and the way that uh, they want. And so this is the reason uh, on top of the fact that Spirit is telling me that this person is coming back, okay? But this is telling me that they are wanting to try again. They're wanting to rebuild, all right? So your broken heart is not going to be around much longer uh, you know uh, I really don't feel like this is one of those like push and pull kind of uh, relationships this is this feels kind of solid it's just that there's a little bit of emotional maturity that needs to happen either on your part or your partner's part uh, being Pisces sometimes you can tend to uh, feel a lot oh you can you can overly feel emotions sometimes and a lot a lot of Pisces are uh, empaths and so you pick up on so much energy around you that sometimes it can just you know really overwhelm you all right so you have Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords Right, and this is more of what I'm talking about. When when you want to approach your love, okay, but uh, these emotions get in the way sometimes. And sometimes words are said that, uh, you know, hurt you and wound you, okay? And you just don't feel like you should uh, have to work that hard in order to make it work. Uh, but at the same time, your partner is feeling overwhelmed too. And sometimes uh, they use the fact that uh, you're sensitive in order to kind of, you know, win an argument or bully. And none of that is really necessary at all. The two of you just need to relax, okay? All right, uh, Six of Cups, Queen of Cups, definitely. Uh, this is someone uh, that if they are not your soulmate, this is as close to soulmate as you can get. This is somebody that, you know, you feel like you just belong with. Uh, you finish each other's thoughts. You finish each other's sentences. Uh, you just get each other. You feel like you've known them for lifetimes. You feel like you've known them uh, through childhood. This could be somebody that maybe you kind of, sort of, might have met earlier. Uh, years before uh, but didn't meet that could have been like the best friend of somebody that you knew or uh, maybe a brother or sister of uh, somebody that you went to school with uh, you might have received like a tiny little glimpse of this person at some point in your life previous but uh, it's like when you finally get with them you feel that deep connection as if you really belong together okay all right, now in the second set, we have the star, you know, which is the next card right after the tower. So this is, a, again, another indication that, you know, there is a life after death. There is this uh, rebuilding that's going to come on. You have the death card, speaking of that. So uh, what comes after death? but uh, resurrection with the star, okay? So the star indicates, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna take a little bit of making yourself vulnerable. You see, she's nude here, which it indicates like making yourself vulnerable. She's also bathing, all right? And this is like, you know, washing away all that hurt, allowing your blessings to uh, come in. All right, so definitely uh, leaving leaving the harsh things behind, leaving the things behind that don't belong in this relationship. The both of you, and you both, it, it feels like you both might be Pisces. Okay, I don't know. Uh, if, if not, it's somebody who has a lot of Pisces in their chart. It feels overwhelmingly uh, emotional. Okay, um, yeah. So uh, it's time to let some of some of that go. All right, so we have nine of wands and seven of wands. And yeah, you're constantly feeling defensive. You're constantly feeling like uh, you, you're having to walk on eggshells around this person. You don't uh, want them to say or do things to upset you, and you don't want to say or do things to upset 
them. But at the same time, you're always feeling a little bit defensive. It's time to just relax and be yourself because you're perfectly perfect for this person anyway. And they are for you as well. Quit looking for flaws. Quit looking for things that are going to upset you. Because if you look, you're going to find them. Okay, you, you can even make them up or create them problems where none really exist obstacles and challenges fears anxieties and self-sabotage ten of swords seven of cups all right now these cards show me that yeah definitely you've been hurt in the past this is something from your past it has nothing to do with this person and with seven of cups it indicates that maybe you were uh, lied to cheated on uh, your partner maybe overindulged in uh, extracurricular activities, so to speak, and it kind of left you feeling a little defensive, which may be the source of this. You know, therapy works that way, and so does meditation, self-discovery, uh, going through the problems of the past that that uh, hurt you, and being mindful. So when you feel when you are feeling that way, just stop for a minute, breathe. It pinpoint where it is you actually feel that stress, okay? And, you know, just feel it, okay? You won't die. Uh, you will find out that uh, it helps you to control your emotions so that you don't become overreactive and say and do things that you don't mean, but you don't want to be hurt either, okay? Uh, the key here is just to continue uh, giving that love to this person. All right. And in the outcome, we have the devil and the four of cups. So, yeah, this is a, this is a, a relationship where it can come, become a little uh, codependent, okay? It's like... Um, they hurt you, so you want to hurt them back, even though you don't mean it, and they didn't mean it, uh, and you just end up feeling uh, kind of drawn to them, kind of bound to them. Uh, it's not really something that you want. You don't like it. Uh, it's It kind of makes you feel like you have to take a break from this person a lot, but these are created scenarios that the two of you are doing to each other, all right, and it doesn't have to be that way at all. Now, in your little last set of cards, we have the Justice and Three of Wands. All right. Now, with Justice card, just tell me, yeah, you have to make a, you're going to have to make this decision. You know what it is you want. You can see a future with this person. This is definitely what you want, but you're going to have to, like I was saying earlier, pick your battles. You're going to have to decide what is important to you. Okay, is winning at all costs worth losing a person that is potentially your soulmate? Uh, is it worth losing somebody that uh, means so much to you just because you don't want to lose an argument or something? Uh, the minute that you let go and, and, and just what, just try, you know, because somebody has to start, okay? It's like a vicious cycle that's going on a little bit, like this Wheel of Fortune, and you're having these good times, and you're having these bad times, and you're both tending to trigger each other. So if you just kind of relax and let go and maybe not be so reactive, uh, they kind of learn from your example, you know, because that's kind of what soulmates do. They kind of mirror each other just a little bit. Um, four of Swords, Page of Wands, uh, it definitely your partner is feeling like, you know, their heart's broken too. You had the Nine of Swords in your column, which indicated that you had a lot of pain that you were dealing with. And your partner is having to deal with a lot of hurt from their past too. Uh, and they're going to have to take time out to, um, you know, do that healing, whether, you know... <clears throat> Whenever they have time alone that they can sit and think, it might even be something the two of you can do as a couple, you know, you know, like share a guided meditation or something, just learning to relax. <clears throat> three of Swords and Three of Pentacles. All right, so these are your fears and anxieties. These are the things that uh, we're talking about self-sabotage and stuff. So you're, yeah, there may have been some hanky-panky going on with your uh, ex-partner at work. Uh, you may 
be so hurt and betrayed from the fact that uh, your your past love or someone from your past hurt you and cheated on you, uh, maybe even lied, manipulated. Maybe they had like a little office fling going on. Uh, things just really were bothering you a lot about it. And, you know, that's why that relationship ended. And you're moving on from that. And you're very fortunate that you have found uh, someone that you can... Uh, spend your life with that is willing to experience these things with you and uh, to grow and move forward. Ending the reading with the Nine of Cups and the Two of Wands. Uh, it, when you come to this uh, conclusion, when you come to um, when you are able to communicate with your partner, you will find that the two of you are extremely comfortable together. And it's almost, uh, you know, just almost too perfect uh, if there is such a thing. But it allows you to grow with that person and to look into the future and to uh, see exactly what you want with them and where you're going and uh, make those plans uh, for the rest of your life basically this feels like a very permanent person so uh, never fear that if you are uh, in separation from them at the time this person will be back around okay all right Pisces love you I'll see you soon bye-bye